Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's Sportiest World, where we do reviews on just about everything. Okay? Come on in my virtual living room, kitchen, uh, bedroom, wherever I'm recording at this time. Right now, I'm recording in the kitchen because I'm meal prepping for the rest of the week. And I didn't feel like getting on camera. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't feel like it. But it is what it is, right? You don't care if I'm on camera or not. You just here for the dish, the topic of discussion, in my opinion. And I'm here to give it to you. Yes. So get your favorite drink of choice. Let's sit at this table and let's have a discussion. Okay, with Lady D. And see what we can come up with as far as giving Miss Portia some advice. I had to wait on the story because we had to go back and forth with whether she's with him, meaning her ex-boyfriend, Dennis McKinley, father of her baby. Okay, I had so much high hopes, so much high hopes for them. But then I saw too many other things, other important factors that were going to play a definite part of them not being able to be married or consummate the marriage at a, you know, in a union. Okay, because they can definitely have sex. They don't did that. They don't went way beyond that point. Okay, because the baby is here. But I'm just saying, after being man and woman, wife, you know, that type of union. But I just saw the signs. I, you know, they played clips with uh, the two parents getting involved. Uh, look like they wanted to throw blows. They wanted to throw hands. Who? Oh, well. They don't Anybody like that? Two dogs right here. So you try to see you want me to close the door? Mm -hmm. Really, sure. You see how she just get on my nerves? Like, why you just didn't get it up and close the door yourself? I'm on somebody out there. Nobody out there. But anyway, getting back to my program. Had a brief intermission right there. Sorry, guys. That's just how it goes on my videos. But anyway, moving on. Um, I just saw some very big mishaps. That was going to definitely cause a problem. Either at the beginning of their marriage. Or in the middle of the end. But it wasn't going to last. With those two major factors. <sighs> Meaning his mama. Dennis McKinley. And Portia mom. Because they're both high spirited women. And they don't want nobody taking advantage of their babies. Okay. And that's just it. This is what it is. They, you, you always, when you have a child. You're going to always see that child as your baby. Even though you know they grown. They got houses, cars, careers, all of that. But when your baby's hurting, that's the only thing you see, your little baby. Okay? So, when they got into it on one of the episodes, you know, and then they're going to try to come back towards the end of that episode that I'm referring to. If y'all remember, they was at a restaurant, and they were trying to come to the meetings of minds to be on one accord and this, that, and third. And the only thing they could talk about amongst themselves was prenup. <laughs> this woman... Uh, the mother of Dennis McKinley, like she don't work too hard and um being involved physically as well as uh probably financially too that for him to have this hot dog business and she got some vested interest in it herself and she ain't been let Portia come in and take none of that. Okay. So there was already something to, there to that uh piece. And then you had uh Portia's mama, I think her name is Diane, ain't it? Ain't it Diane Sean? Anyway. Uh, she's talking about, you know, Portia done been to a bad marriage one time, but left with Neth. I had to come back home and live with her. You know, that's what our kids do, regardless of which celebrities or not, or their celebrities or not. They're having a hard time. They always know mom and dad are going to have a roof over their head, so I can just go crash for, you know, how long I need before I can get back out on my own. You know, I rest up, replenish my resources, and I get back out there and try it again. Right? Right. So, uh, both of the parents were very much so invested on neither child losing anything towards anything going forward in a marriage. So, I already knew that was going to be a big, big hang up. And it didn't matter whether they showed it to us on TV or whether it was just happening, you know, behind closed doors. That was going to be a hot mess period. So, of course, you know, Portia wanted to get through having a baby and put the wedding on hold and the prenup on hold because I don't think she was focused on was uh, having her baby girl. So, uh, we moved on from there. And then, you know, shortly after the baby was born, 
you know, Porsche had stores in it. You know, people having, you know, different tales of what's going out on those streets with Dennis McKinley. You know, they said he was still being a womanizer. He was doing things with animals. He was having, um, what do you call it? Issues talking about her behind her back that he didn't want to move in those suburbs. He wanted to stay in the city, which they did kind of capture that type of um, attitude when we were filming. And she was, you know, trying to take him to a counselor and this, that, and third. He wasn't really secure being in no wooded area, playing a home body life person. He still wanted to be in them streets, running them streets, and um, you know, the nightlife. He he had still hadn't grown up in a sense. And he, he's not making himself slow down to be a family man. You know what I'm saying? Because once you get a family, you give all those toys and uh, boyish ways of, of, of doing things. You leave them alone. You pack them up and say, I don't want that no more. I want to be a father figure. I want to be a husband. I want to be a provider. And I want this home life of building a family unit, you know, and having grandkids one day or whatnot. But uh, no, he... he mm, Mm -mm. He's still running them streets deep. He like women. He like tattooing women's names on his body. He like giving lavish gifts like Rolexes and probably cars and 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 probably you know uh, materialistic stuff for his clothing and you know going on trips with these women or you know whatever. But you know when it start hitting at home and you're Parents started looking at that stuff, which I'm sure Miss Diane did, and her sister uh, Lauren. They were like, "Uh-uh, you can't mess with that man no more. He like having sex with animals and stuff, and uh, he's still fooling around with women. I don't know what women out there want to fool with him. He messing with animals, so, you know, they're going on stuff like that. They start on um, following each other. Well, of course, uh, Portia side of the family." Meaning her sister and her mother, they unfollowed him. Then Portia called herself unfollowing him. Then he unfollowed Portia. Then, you know, a couple of weeks after, Portia refollowed him. And it's just a hot mess. But I knew when the uh, daughter and the mother didn't uh, creep back on and follow, that still wasn't going to be a, 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 a good deal. She may have forgiven him and whatnot. But, you know, once you do dirt to somebody's child, I don't care. That's still edged in their minds. They ain't forgetting nothing. They don't care if you did plenty of things in the future, the present and the future. That's good, 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 good. They still gonna remember that one thing that you did to their child, and they ain't gonna let it go. So that was another way I felt that no, <laughs> that that marriage ain't gonna happen. Or when if it does happen, it's not gonna stay there long. Because they definitely didn't have no spirituality in this relationship because they did everything against what the Lord says do. You know, get married first, then have your child. They did everything all so backwards, all willy-nilly. And then think the Lord going to be present and all this stuff. No, just repent, forgive, and move on, Portia. That's all that I can say for you, girl. Because Dennis ain't finna change overnight. It's going to take probably some years for him to change. And maybe the absence from you being with him will or may not uh, make him think he needs to grow up and be a responsible um, father and, you know, or dad in your child's life. Because you certainly don't want to be in your life platonically, monogamous, monogamous, uh, monogamy, uh, relationship. Yeah, I'm through with it. And, uh... It, it just pretty much is what it is. I wish him well, but he really don't want to be with you, Portia. Not in the way that you need him to be. And you should want to be with somebody who wants to be with animals, women, probably men, and all this other thing. He he can't get what he wants. You know, he 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 done thirst out in a sense. So if you don't mess with animals, you don't mess with other women. He probably don't mess with the other sex. What else you want out there? I mean, I don't, you, you don't run out of options of what you can do unless you're going to start pumping on food. You know what I'm saying? That would be a new one to all of us. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, who knows? Okay? You don't been over the whole spectrum. So you don't want that kind of man in your life. And then it, it puts you in a very bad predicament because now you have to watch every new guy that you're dating to see would they fit the profile of a good dad for a pillar. You know, because it's not their bio biological child. And definitely, you have been in two relationships, one a marriage, one a fiancé, and they haven't been the right men. So, my advisement to you, just giving you my opinion, of course, is to sit yourself down 
raise your child until they get old enough, you know, to be able to tell you and express whether they like this person in your life or not. And if they have real good grounded reasons, then you might need to move on from that particular person. Not letting your child run your life. But sometimes other people can see things before you can see it because you're in the midst of everything. And you're being wooed and, and, and you're loving the effects and the feelings and stuff. But, I mean, you got pillow to think about right now. So, I think y'all should just be thinking about good co-parenting. And you need to get to the bottom of this thing with this bestiality. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't want him doing nothing of the sort that's around your child or y'all child together. So, those are my... Uh, opinions on why you should not be with this man at this time. I'm not saying he can't change because all this stuff is allegedly uh, being put on him, but some of it is ringing true, especially with the thing with sincerely and him uh, knowing each other because Tasha K did a great job. I don't care what y'all be saying about Tasha K and her methods of retrieving information. Some of it be true. Some of it may not be. It might be far-fetched, but it could be true. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like it's true. It could be. Maybe later on down the road, it'd be exposed to that. Yeah, she was right all along. I mean, she's no different from Wendy Williams or any other columnist that wants to put out dirt on people it just is what it is if you do the crime you're gonna do the time even if it ain't but in social media or it's gonna play out in real life and you know it's gonna be documented in courts and stuff and if the judge don't seal the records and it's gonna be public um we call it public notice where you could go and retrieve it yeah, it's going to be public records. You can go pay a little fee and you can get out of the dirt. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like they committed a crime because they didn't. You know, the judge just didn't seal it. And it was just open property for anybody to go pull up on you if they wanted to do you that way. Okay. So I'm just going on like, you know, you put yourself out here on these reality shows and stuff. It's just public record. They can pull up anything they feel they want on you and they can dish and dirt, do dirt on you. But, you know, I wish people wouldn't do that. I mean, if you give us incidents to talk about, then that's fair game. But just to go and dig into your personal and past history, I think that's a bit too much. And that's something that shouldn't be, uh, people shouldn't be able to do. That's just my opinion. Um, But what was the fourth thing I was talking about? Oh, yeah. And you need to get on back off this um maternity leave you taking all these wonderful trips and just then third get back over to dish nation before he would take your job <laughs> you know what i'm saying it just mm, it ain't good one to eat what do you mean oh lord she picking out the chicken we just cook up our meals for the next seven days i don't know what i'm gonna try anyway um basically it tastes good though um, uh, she, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, she need to get back to Dish Nation and get back on her program because she need that check. She need the Real Housewives of Atlanta check. She need her naked go hair to continue to flourish. And then she's going to be competing against that joker, Dennis McKinley, because he set up there and started a hairline. I mean, who would do that? And he's supposed to be your man. <laughs> I don't understand. It's more competition for you. But I know you can prevail, Portia, because she's just like a little flower, you know, a little seed. You ain't did nothing to nobody. You really haven't. You were just trying to live life in the spotlight. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. Because a lot of things are put on them, said on them, and done on them. And it's not necessarily right. But I like Porsche. Except for that incident when we were talking about an underground railroad. And that's when I had to push pause. Pray about it and say, Lord, she ain't no no better. She's still young. She should have learned it in high school. But it just is what it is. We're going to give her Two more chances, okay? We're just going to get her chance, going to overlook that little flaw, that little upset, and, you know, throw that flag on the plate. Let's clear it up, play the fire, and we're going to move on, okay? That's what I'm saying about Miss Portia Williams, okay? Do your thing. Your mama's a great example. I don't know how she get her money or whatnot. Ain't none of my business, but she living nice. She's looking nice, and she's raised you to be a definitely nice young lady, which that's all I have to say about you. She did that darn thing. But these mamas, they, and I am want them to, we don't let nobody take advantage of our children. And this whole thing with this prenup, he wasn't going to sign it. You wasn't going to sign it. So, see, that's what I'm talking about. What do y'all have? Because love is good, but love don't pay the bills. Love don't pay the finances. Love don't pay sickness when it comes. Insurance coverage. No, you need to know that this person is down 
for you, like four for that. Kaya's running. Okay. Running on air. Because you ain't got no, I mean, running out of air. Because you ain't got no air. The tires don't deflate it. You need somebody like that. Like, I don't care about my money. Okay. But let's just be honest. Okay. Whatever you coming in with, I ain't going to take. Whatever I'm coming in with, you ain't going to take. But anything we move forward, we can split up as assets. That's how I see it. I don't know why other people don't see it. You can't get something for somebody you never had the opportunity to be in the ground with them or what they got. Now, if they want to give you an extra X, Y, Z, fine. You know, or we can reevaluate it once we've been in a marriage for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? But it should just be a known factor when you have two people that have assets. Just whatever y'all got coming in in the marriage, uh, you know, forget it. That You can't get your hands on it. You can't do none of that. Now, what y'all make going forward together, meaning endeavors that y'all partake in with, you know, together, y'all do 50-50. And if it doesn't work out 10 years down the road, y'all amicably split that, what y'all made. And, you know, devise it up in contracts or whatever, since it seems like it is a problem with this money. How they say more money, more money, more problems, more issues. And it doesn't seem like love is the basis of your relationship or you will have to worry about signing a prenup. You're like, okay, baby, him, fine. Hit, hit, hit. Let me sit you, okay? But let it know you ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing now. Or you going to get something if you prove to me and you ain't did no infidelity. You ain't try to take it for my money. Just that. So you ain't try to kill me or anything. Like that. You can have my fortune when I'm gone. Naturally causes, <laughs> of natural causes of my death. You can have it because, hey, you were down with me when I met you. You stayed down with me through sickness and help. And baby, hey, I can't take it with me. I sure ain't gonna leave it for the government to partake of or whatever. So yeah, fine. But if you don't go in with a loving wife, a loving woman like that, then you are gonna have problems. Why y'all together? Why y'all together? That's what y'all gotta ask yourself. If you don't come freely saying you want to sign these prenups when y'all got a heavy load of assets. That you don't know quite what this person's going good right now, but you don't know when you get down and out or, or your business go into the ground. You got to go bankrupt or whatever. Is they going to be there for you? You know, these are things y'all don't know, but y'all should be on the path of saying, I'm going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And if it can't be done that way, you can't agree on whether or not you want to sign a prenup, then you end the relationship because it's not a, it's not based on love, you know, because it ain't going to be a factor because Portia knows when she married Cordell, I don't know what kind of situation they had, but yeah, he left her high and dry. So I understand. I understand, but put it in writing. No, you cannot have this house if it don't work. You can't have nothing about this house, and you can't have nothing about his condo or whatever. But hey, if we need to buy another house, you know, okay, because I'll I be like, uh, Lauren, do you have a house or one of my good, good cousins or whatever? Do you, do you need a house for a while? Then, you know, I'm going to let somebody, I'm going to rent that house out to a relative. I ain't going to get it to him. But I don't let them rent it out to, for a nominal fee each month with the agreement. I had to set a contract with them too. If my marriage don't work, I'm coming back from the house. So you're going to have to move out. I'm going to give you two months, you know, to get situated or maybe three months. And then you got to get out of my house. Okay. So you won't have no questions evicting, you know, your loved ones that was holding down your house that you were renting out to because you were sitting married to this man. And you didn't want to lose your major asset. I mean, it's conversations you have to be having when you're talking about, I'm in love. I don't buy you this ring. I want you as my wife and my baby, the mother of my children. Have that conversation first. And then you can see where this person coming from when it's time for y'all to set wedding plans. Okay? Did you not see your cohort or your colleague, Candy Burrs, when she was sitting there trying to tell Todd, look, he's going to sign this uh, pre or you, you ain't get married. <laughs> I mean, she jumped right into a uh, businesswoman mode. She was like, uh-uh, we, we, we got to talk about. But, hey, look, I, 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 I got this, that, and the third. You ain't getting it. That's the way it is. Or however it was written. Now, I'm just lying. I don't know how Candy got down in her real business when it came to that pre and Todd had signed. sign. But I'm sure she was uh, a little bit more well-established financially than Todd was. And I'm just guessing it's just that's what she's giving me when I'm looking at her and her moving and shaking and doing what she got to do. And plus, she don't elevate a, a lot from being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? So she ain't trying to, you know, she want her man, her man to be comfortable and she don't mind taking care of her man. I'm, I'm cool. You know, she go with it, I'm cool with it, okay? But don't, don't you know, holler Bloody Mary if the stuff go the other way and he take it for all you got. But like I said, she's my business woman. 
Look at here. We're going to sign a prenup. If this, 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 this happen, okay. If this, this, this don't happen, okay. But we ain't going in here blind. I got too much on my plate. I want too much. And, and, and I got this revenue around here that's going good. I got Riley to take care of. And I want the best for her because she's just been a best child. I, I want everything for her, whether people agree with it or not. This is what I want for my daughter, okay? And it's signed, sealed, and delivered. And I'm sure it's paperwork on that as well, <laughs> okay? And then I'm saying, oh, I'm going to, you know, leave your daughter some because I feel she my daughter. And see, that's extra stuff right there when you bringing in another child because you can see, you know, I'm like, I don't, I don't understand because it wouldn't have been me. I'm sorry. We're going to take one family trip together and then that's just how it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to take your money and go and take Riley and your daughter out to another trip, that's fine. But I ain't getting nobody but one trip, uh, which is a family trip. And then I'll probably take a trip by myself. I need to relax and be away from all y'all for a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All this hustling I'm doing around here. I just probably want to go somewhere by myself for a couple of days. Then I want to meet up with my favorite girls that got money so we can chill and talk crap like men do. You know, when they with their boys talking crap and all like that. And then I'm coming home. We're going to do this thing all over again. Or then I might have to take my mama on a trip because she's still him. And then when sharing with him, I would take her on a trip. Okay? But it's just ill what it is. You know, if he's spending his money and he don't made uh, that gay Candy gave a platform for him because I don't know what he'd be doing after that. I, I think he just stopped doing whatever he was doing and just came on board with Candy and tried to find his little niche here and there. And I think she just threw him a bone with the OLG game restaurant idea to keep him busy and make like he's doing something. You know, whatever. And maybe she getting the residue, uh, residual monies to him to go do whatever he want to do because, hey, that's what he's a part of and that's what she bought him in on and that's what he gonna do but this other stuff the dungeon the real high wives of Atlanta, the, all that's mine you know <laughs> that's what she probably tell her dog like i'm sorry you do you take your money you already got and go on and build somewhere else do but he ain't he following her everywhere she can go everywhere she go like every trip probably in the dungeon but they the tour the city they on there too he probably dealt with her you know what I'm saying? Instead of him being his behind at home with age, raising little age, doing his daily daycare. And he should invest in daycares. And he'd be out there put with Ace, you know, that picture with Ed, was it Eddie Murphy? Shoot, I can't remember who. I think it was Eddie Murphy and somebody, you know, the original daddy, daddy daycare movie or idea that he got it from. But, you know, even he could say Daddy Todd's daycare or something like that. Go get you a daycare, honey, and, and get, get it in uh new york here and whatever and, and go do that you know so get you a, 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 a what do you call it a charity or foundation and go you know head that up and do wonderful things but stop being on the can all the time I'm, I'm just looking at you like a kelp man Todd. i'm serious I, I you are very pristine and honorable when it comes to ace and doing the fall thing but what else you got what else you got i'm like my majority what why are you here why are you here Okay, but even my only mother Joyce can answer that or Bertha or Aunt Nora before me. Okay. But anyway, I think that's all I had on, on this story. I just wish Portia well. They're gonna tell them tabloids, we ain't together no more. No, we don't broke up. Because I'm just tired of seeing the tabloids go back and forth, back and forth. But this one um that I had followed that got in the story, in Celebrity Insider, they had pretty much said so. And let me just show you or just read what they wrote up on it. The title was Real Housewives of Atlanta. Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley split could turn nasty. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. It's all about money. It ain't about love. It's just strictly about money. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams has split from her fiancé and baby daddy, Dennis McKinley, amid rumors that he was having an affair. Williams surprised fans last fall when she announced that she and McKinley were engaged and having a baby. According to page six, McKinley proposed with a 13 carry engagement ring designed by Richie Rich. And just three months ago, the couple welcomed their daughter, daughter Pillar, Johanna. However, things started to fall apart last month when Williams allegedly found text messages on McKinley's phone that proved he had been sexting multiple women okay they're no longer engaged is the story we're covering for the show says and uh real housewives of atlanta producer insider we are covering their co-parenting relationship um one report claimed that mckinley was cheating with wags 
Atlanta Star sincerely Ward, but both Ward and McKinley have denied the rumors. Another rumor report claims that McKinley was cheating with strippers, but when Williams confronted him, he denied it. And this is just my commentary sidebar. Uh, of course, a man going to deny unless you got him pinned down, you're actually physically touching him and catching him in the act. And he still might go crazy and say, baby, that ain't me. <laughs> that wasn't me. Playing the mind games. But, of course you know. She ain't no fool now. She ain't no fool, fool. She knows. And she, her gut instinct probably was telling her all along, especially when Candy was trying to drop hints to her early on. But, you know, Candy was kind of being kind of shady about it. Instead of pulling her aside, having a one-on-one, she's going to have it in conversation with other people. So, you know, it's just easy what it is. That's how they get down. That's how they bring that extra drama for Bravo for the show. And, um, um, let's see. And then they were talking about, oh, okay, he was messing with a stripper. Moving on, the uh, article continued. Fans first noticed something was wrong with the relationship during Memorial Day weekend when Williams unfollowed McKinley on social media. Then she went on a girl's trip, get away to the coastal, coastal Hollywood Beach Resort in Hollywood, Florida earlier this month and was spotted without her engagement ring. Insiders say that Bravo cameras followed Williams during the entire vacation, so fans would get to see what went down during the upcoming season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Some sources claim that the split was all about the alleged cheating, while others say the former couple was constantly fighting about money and parenting after their daughter arrived. There has been accusations that the original hot dog factory owner was using Williams to promote his new streaming business, and he was a clout chaser who was causing serious problems between William and Bravo. Now, see, that you see what I'm saying? No, you can't come in. That's just like Peter Thomas trying to come in and, and start a show. You know, think he's going to get a spinoff from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, where it be Real Housewives Husbands of Atlanta. And we see how that caused some confusion. Okay, then he had to even get into, uh, you know, subject matter and tell Peter, this is Real Housewives of Atlanta, a woman show, not a pop, you know, or uh, itch trying to be a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because she did call Peter an itch, as we all know. That's just legendary right there. <laughs> That's just a legendary ceremonial type. Uh, gift we gave to Peter, okay? We gave that to Peter, an uh, honorary housewife, because he know he stayed up in all the ladies' mess, all those four seasons, really, four or five seasons. But anyway, uh, he got crowned that. But see, he trying to come over and, and do all this other stuff with Bravo. Bravo said, ah, we pay, we, we pay uh, Portia to bring drama. We ain't paying you and we ain't giving you no side check, okay? If she want to include you into taping and y'all want to cut up and we catch it on camera, that's good. That's good for Portia, not you. You and Portia need to do y'all side deal amongst each other, but you ain't get nothing from Bravo, okay? So that was just cheesy right there and Portia should have called that little T, okay? That's just my sidebar. Moving back to Dennis. Since Dennis got into it with one of the Bravo executives because he just started a streaming service. Porsche is going to be the brand. She's going to help him make more money. He's getting the publicity that he's always wanted to help him continue to carry the brand. And this was said by Tasha K. But now it looks like Portia Williams has squashed Dennis McKinley's business plans and is moving on without him. Then it says new episodes of Real Housewives of Atlanta will return to Bravo later this year. Okay, it's probably in the fall when summer leaves. That's when they gear back up anyway. So I'm like, hey, Tasha K did you a favor. Candy did you a favor. Tried to drop down for you, Portia. But you wanted to hold on to a dream. And I understand you didn't want to seem like you had failed again. Because technically, you didn't fail. You really didn't. You were just a woman in love trying to... You know, experience love, try to have a family, a second go around. But see, now you're in a predicament. You got to watch out for your baby girl because every man ain't out there to do right uh, by you. And you don't want your daughter in a situation where any harm can come to her by it not being her father. Would I, do I think um, Dennis McKenna would do anything to his daughter? No, no. He just has strange behavior. But I think he genuinely loves his offspring and he wouldn't do anything to compromise that so i think he's good in that 
uh, respect. And I think he would be a good parent. However, no, he's not good for you, child. He just saw a way to make more money through you. Uh, and he tried to take advantage, but the law was on your side. He really shown what he was about before you went down that road. So um, you're doing something right if things got caught up this bad to where you had to pull the plug. So blessings and uh, definitely uh, prayers will go out for you and yours. And hopefully love will come your way later on down the road. You got to get Miss Pillar on track. Her life solidified because it's all about pillar now. It's not about Portia wants and desires. She has to be put first, okay? So that's all I had on Miss Portia Williams. Girl, you continue to do that going fine. Get on up off your soap opera and get on back over to this nation because you're going to need that income. Yes, that residual income, that streaming income. Yes, because it's you and pillar against the world. With the Lord backing you up, girl, I'm proud of you. If no one else told you today, I just told you. Proud of you, Portia. Keep doing the thing uh, and, and keep uh, making revenue come in and be happy, you know. And a man can't make you happy. You got to be happy within yourself and knowing you can do things for yourself, by yourself. And you don't need a man on your uh, shoulder or on your arm to make you feel whole, okay? That's all I got, y'all. That's my opinion. Thank you for coming to the show. And I'll see you next time for something. Okay. Bye.